Mr. DeJoy, did you have any protesters at your house last night? <laughs> Not last night. <laughs> president Biden called for you to resign, Mr. DeJoy? No, the President has not called for me to resign. Any member of your board called for you to resign? No, sir. None the Democrats and Republicans on the board haven't called in. The Democrats called for it? We have, uh, it, you know, it's hard to tell in our board meetings because we all very much act in a bipartisan manner, focused on postal issues. But there are two gentlemen that, you know, the, the chair identified that he's a registered Democrat, and I think there's another gentleman on the board. Mr. Bloom's a Democrat, right? He's, he's, he yeah, supports he's a Democrat. you. Democrat. Yep. Is the chair, the chair of this committee, has she called for you to resign this Congress? She has not. She called for you to be suspended last Congress, but I don't think she's called for you to resign this Congress, has she? We've had good conversations on yeah. a variety now, of I know where Mr. Conley's at and some of the Democrats, but I, I, I mean, Last time you were here, you had protesters banging on pots and pans outside your house. You had 90-some people calling for you to resign. You were, the, you, were, you, you were the worst guy on the planet last time you were here. I, I just want to know what's changed. Uh, maybe uh, <laughs> that's not for me to answer. I mean, they were so ticked last time, Mr. DeJoy. They passed a bill. They called us in on a Saturday in August to pass a bill, and then they had a hearing on the bill they passed two days later. You remember that? Sir, it was an unfortunate uh, set of circumstances for me, for my family, for the postal employees, for the postal board. None of it was based in any type of fact. It was sensationalization. But we're through. I'm through that. The board's through that. We're just trying to get our plan, get this legislation passed and get on with the improvements we need. They to passed make. a bill on Saturday, August 22nd, a bill they know had no chance of becoming law, a bill that was not even taken up in the Senate. Then they had a hearing on the bill they already passed two days later. Normally you do it the other way around. Normally you actually have a committee get together, look at the legislation, debate it, discuss it, have witnesses, get expert testimony, all that stuff. And then you maybe pass it out of committee and go to the floor and do it. They called us in special to pass a bill on a Saturday and then had a hearing on Monday. And all that weekend, they had protesters at your house disrupting your family and, frankly, your neighbors as well. And now you're telling me you got no one on the Board of Governors asking you to resign, no protesters at your house. The President hasn't asked you to resign. The Chairwoman hasn't asked you to resign. And I want to know what's happened. What's different between February 24, 2021 and August 24, 2020? What happened in those six months? What, what, could, what could explain the Democrats' difference in attitude? Uh, I, 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 uh, Mr. Joe, Congressman, I don't want to participate. In, in what do you mean you don't want to participate? I'm asking you a question. Maybe, a simple I believe, question. I believe Can you hazard a guess as what, what, what might have happened between August 24, 2020, I, I am, I am hoping, when they passed a bill and then had a hearing on it, what may have happened between August 24, 2020 and February 24, 2021? What could have happened in the interim there that would change the attitude of uh, Democrats? One of two things, either everyone's anxious to hear our new strategic plan or we had an election. I'm One sure that's it. I'm sure that's it. <laughs> Still waiting for an answer. I, I did this to you when you were here last time, Mr. DeJoy. I asked you, you know, to, to comment on something. You wouldn't do it then either. What, 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 what happened between August and February? What, what important event happened? We had an election. We had an election. It was all a charade. The, you don't take my word for it. The Wall Street Journal called it a giant conspiracy theory. Called us back in. It was all to the. It was all part of the predicate for laying the groundwork for the mail-in balloting and all the chaos and confusion the Democrats wanted, and the laws that I think they passed in so many states, frankly, in an unconstitutional fashion. It was all about politics. It was all about the election. Agree with that, Mr. DeJoy? Uh, it was a, a, a very um, sensitive time for the nation, and there was a lot of uh, activity. They accused uh, you of things that they, they said you were, you were restricting overtime. False. They told you, oh, you were taking the collection boxes, doing something that had never been done before, even though it had been done by every previous postmaster general. 12,000 of them that had been moved by the Obama administration postmaster general. But, oh, somehow you were the worst. Again, all under the guise of creating this this crazy chaos that they wanted around the election relative to mail-in balloting, and you were the guy they used to launch it all, to start it all in the summer, 
when everyone was calling, saying all kinds of, you were, I mean, you were the, like I said, you were, they, they had you as the worst guy on the planet back then, and now everything, oh, it seems to be so much better now. 